Hey, it's Bruce from TPC. I'm here today with Paul Calandrella. He is our general manager. He is also got a dad bod, and as a result, he loves e-bikes. So he's the perfect person to tell us today about this exciting new commuter e-bike brand that we're carrying at TPC, Benno Bikes. Paul, yes. tell me about Benno Bikes. Spot on with the dad bod comment. You may be uh, <laughs> being generous, but yeah, I'm an enthusiast road rider, mountain biker, but anywhere where I can sort of eliminate a car trip and make use of, of an e-bike, I'll make that choice whenever possible. Benno is a brand that's been around since 2015. Benno Benzinger is the founder. You may know him for Electra fame, the yeah. original cruiser brand that was and remains one of the most approachable brands in the bike marketplace. He really saw an, an opportunity with the Benno brand to bring both a balance of fun and utility and combine it into a single bike. And he saw too many e-bike brands that were going one way or another. And so this is the product of his improving upon the e-bike experience and making it accessible and useful for as many as possible. Awesome. And we're going to take a closer look at three of our most popular models. Um, I think before we dive into the specifics, they all have sort of a few things in common. Yep. Um, I, I was looking up, they come in two different classes, class one and class three. Can you tell me what that means? Sure. Yeah. All Bosch mid-drive motors, one of the most reliable e-bike platforms available. Mm -hmm. You've got two versions of the motor on the bikes we stock. You've got a performance and a performance sport. Sport's a class three, so that'll get you a 28 mile per hour speed and a, mm, nice. and a bigger smile on your face. Your performance is a class one, is a 20 mile per hour speed, and maybe a little more approachable for those who are learning to e-bike. All Benno bikes and all Bosch motor systems come with a, a four settings. And so despite the top end speed, you can go anywhere from eco to extend your battery life or turbo if you're really looking to just fly down the road on the bike. Great, great. And these are all pedal assist bikes, right? They are. No throttle here, yeah. so you've got to pedal to get that uh, to get that benefit of the motor. But uh, like I said, yeah. it'll put a smile on your face once you once you start turning those pedals yeah. over. It feels a lot like riding a regular bike, and it probably should be said also that the Class Three version is going to cost a little bit more, but might be worth it if you want to go really fast. I also noticed they all come with. Integrated, integrated lights. Front and rear yeah. lights, so you're gonna get a good twilight or evening spotlight to guide your way on the front end of the bike, and then rear daytime running and brake lights so that you've got safety for traffic or other riders approaching from behind. Awesome. So let's take a closer look. Let's do uh, these two bikes behind us right here, the E-Scout and the E-Joy. Let's do it. Okay, Paul, so you have in front of you, this is the Benno E-Scout. Tell me a little bit about this bike here. Yeah, this is probably most useful for the daily commuter. And so you've got a 27 five inch wheel, which is a little bigger diameter, more efficient and fast rolling, still with a large volume tire. So there's a lot of comfort here. The motor options, class one or class three on this bike and a rider weight limit that's really focused on the single rider. You'll notice in contrast to some of the uh, models we'll talk about later, it does have an incorporated rear rack, but it's a little shorter. So this is really meant for your personal cargo, not to necessarily carry another person, but super functional for the daily driver. Uh, this is the bike you'd want if you were look, looking to replace car trips to the office or the gym. Super efficient, but still super fun. Yeah, I noticed this has like a little integrated lock too on the rear wheel there. It does. Yeah. So if you're running around town and you want that sense of security as you leave it outside gym or grocery store, flip the lock down, it's going to be hard to make off with this bike. Take your key in your bag and come back and you're ready to roll home. Awesome. And then right here in front of me, I think I put this in front of me because I think this is the bike that I want. This is the Benno E-Joy. It looks a lot like a vintage cruiser, which is pretty cool. Totally, and you're a joyful guy, so I knew you'd pick this one. This has just got a little bit smaller wheel size, so a 26 inch wheel, still that large volume tire for comfort. Why the smaller wheel? It puts you a little closer to the ground so you can confidently stop with flat feet and, and, and manage the, the weight of the bike. Yeah, and it has this really low step through frame. Too. Totally, yeah. yeah. The, the biggest visual contrast here is you've got classic sort of fun styling and ease to step through with a frame that's got that low entry. You know, the contrast here would be, this is maybe your weekend uh, ride and your beach cruiser, this is your daily driver. Yeah. Both equally capable in their speed and carrying capacity, but uh, 
Here you're just choosing ma manner of personality, perhaps. Man, could you imagine going 28 miles an hour on this thing? I would love it. Well, fortunately, it has Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. Both these bikes I can see also have Shimano Dior drivetrains. So definitely pretty reliable. But let's say you are like a hardcore car-free type of rider and you need a bike that can carry all the stuff. In that case, you're probably going to my spirit animal, which is the Benno Boost E. All right, let's take a look at that. So just looking at the Boost E here, Paul, I can tell this is a serious cargo machine. It is. All you have to do is spot that massive rack on the back end of this bike. Huge tubing, and the implication there is not just carry your gear, but carry someone else, whether that's your six-year-old, like, like I carry on the back of my Benno, or you've got a friend, as long as you're keeping within that 400 pound weight limit, have a blast, bring someone along. I saw some really cool setups like child seats that fit on the back. Child seats, Pan platform ears, seats, yeah. you can add a front rack. A real critical component, especially as you add weight to the bike for me is to swap the stock kickstand to the center stand. Okay. That really just balances the bike when you're parking it so that if you've got a, a young one like my six year old on the back, uh, when you park, he or she feels stable and you can unload and, and go about your business. Yeah, it's got, these look like 24 inch wheels. Yeah, and a little yeah. uh, bigger volume tire. Why the 24, it overall then just sits lower to the ground. So again, if you're carrying cargo on the bike, when you come up to a stop at a stop sign or a stop light, you can get your feet flat on the ground and make sure you're managing weight with this bike really, really easily. Yeah, and then again, the big volume tire for comfort while you're riding. Yeah, and the small wheel will be a little bit more maneuverable too, which yep. is great for a cargo bike and a little tougher. Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly. Awesome, and it should be mentioned, I saw that the Boosty, Boosty. Boosty. It comes in a step-through version. It also comes in a standard version, but we have a step-through in front of us. So it has the slightly lower top tube, which uh, is always nice, you know, a little easier to straddle when you're stopped. Totally. Your mm -hmm. consideration here as you're thinking about buying is who's using this bike. Benno cargo bikes are not sized, so this is intended to be adjustable, one size fits all. What I really like about the adaptability of this bike is I've got a wife who's five foot three, I'm six foot three. We can adjust saddle height, position of handlebars with the step through, she can get in and out easily. I don't mind that I've got a lower step over and we can both use the bike. If you're not considering size of rider, there is the uh, more straight top tube version and may suit a larger rider like me yeah. who's not sharing. And also sort of what you're saying too, not only is it adaptable, but you can also add all these accessories that let you basically transform the spike into this machine that can do whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at the stock model here, but there is a ton of modularity with aftermarket accessories, so configure for your mm -hmm. daily life. And we actually have one all kitted out right here. Let's take a closer look at that and look at some of the, you know, the cool stuff you can add on to this bike. Let's do it. Yeah. So this Boosty we have in front of us is actually being ridden by one of our employees. She is commuting to work every day, trying to live car free. She's got a kit it out to work for her. Can you tell me what she's got added onto this thing? Yeah, let's go tip to tail here. Starting on the front end here, we've got the low profile wide rack with an integrated bag. Beauty of this setup is the rack itself bolts to the frame. So you can see is even when the wheel is changing directions, you've got stability in the gear you're carrying on the front end of the bike. Rear end of the bike, a couple of things behind the scenes here. We've got some protective panels and if and as you remove bags and you've got a rider on the back end of this bike, this simply keeps shoes and shoelaces out of the, the way of the moving parts here. Mounted on top of that, you've got massive pannier bags on both sides. Uh, expandable to carry gym gear, groceries, your laptop, load it up and lift off on the Benno Boosty. Top of the rack, we've got a low profile platform seat. You can actually pair two of these and cover the entire rack and that gives you some adaptability in terms of where your rear rider is sitting. Or pull it off entirely and look at a, a child seat uh, like Thule carries that actually clamps onto the rack and you can put a couple little ones on the back of this bike and tote the family around. Yeah, I would love to take my kid to like the farmer's market. Do it. It'd be a great move. But I still think, you know, for me, the E-Joy is the bike. For you, clearly, it is the Boosty, right? 
Yeah, as I said, my spirit animal, you're more style, I'm more utility. We can meet in the middle and have a race. They both go fast. Yeah, let's race to work. We'll let's do, do that it. someday. If you're interested in getting on a Benno bike and maybe trying to live a bit car free, make sure to check out all the Benno bikes available at our website, www.tpc.bike. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.